Happy Tea Tuesday, everybody. Welcome to Deb's Way, and I'm Deb. And I'm here for another hashtag Tea Tuesday event. Mm -hmm. My drink of choice for today is just ice water. It's a hot day today, hot and steamy down here. The humidity is hitting us right now. So even though it's only maybe 90 degrees outside, temperature-wise, with the high humidity, it feels much, much hotter than that. Yeah, the humidity does you in. But we've been out running errands today, home now to kind of relax and take it easy. But um, first of all, I'm, what we did this morning was William had to go to get some lab work done at the VA. So we headed over there to get that t taken care of. And I guess they did do quite a bit of blood work on him today. And it took a while. So we left there and he did fast because no, if he had to fast for that or not. So he just fasted to make sure. And so after we left there, it was like lunchtime and yeah, he was starving. So we headed right to the Metro where if Christine and Mitch with, um, Tiny, tiny house homestead? Oh darn it. I never get names of channels right. You know, why doesn't everybody just call their channel by their name and leave it at that? But anyway, I will link their channel below here. But Christine and Mitch, remember the Metro Club that we took you to at Daytona Beach? We had lunch, not in Daytona Beach, but here in our area. And I had the same meal that I had up at Daytona Beach for the first time. It's still just as good. It's a lot. I brought half of it home. I'll have that for another day, but um, I'm going to show you what we did there because we stopped and had our brunch there before stopping at the grocery store on the way home after William's doctor appointment. So here's, here's the Metro Club, first of all. It's been a busy morning so far, out bright and early. Well, bright and early to us. Oof. Oh, wait, I don't show. You're not on yet, so just a minute. But we had to go to the VA right away this morning for William. He needed to get some lab work done. And we were there for quite a while, actually. And I'm gonna slip this around here real quick. <laughs> okay, yes. Boo-boo. Well, oh, William. Really? <laughs> boo-boo. <laughs> yes, how many vials did they take, did you say? Five? And you also had to do leave a urine sample yeah. this time. I mean, the works. It was the works. Yeah. It's usually not quite that much, but he did get the works today for sure. But he did really good. So we are here at Metro for... We're actually having brunch. We're having breakfast. <laughs> the brunch, yes. So... We'll, I'll show you what we get. Okay. William has got his brunch. What, um, hard eggs, hash browns, a couple of sausage patties underneath the English muffin, and he is diligently jamming up his English muffin. I got my, look at this, Christine. Do you know what, do you remember what this is? This is, I don't know the name of it, but I told him what I wanted. Eggs Benedict with um, chicken strips on it. This is what I got. Hollandaise sauce on top and hash browns. Yum. And like I said, we did stop at uh, the grocery store on the way home. No big grocery buy at all. We just had to get a few things this time around. Not, not much whatsoever the the shelves were were still in good shape at our store everything was in good shape so i'm glad about that i was able to find everything i needed including a cream that i'm going to try on my my heel the heel that i hurt somehow when we went to tampa a few weeks ago well almost a month ago now it still bothers me so i i bought some cream a friend recommended a certain type of cream and I went in search of it. Well, I bought the generic form of it that Publix has available. And they call it, well, here, it's for arthritis pain. 
and it actually has the same ingredients as the Volterran that she was using, that my friend was using, is using. Um, but like that's the brand name and this is the generic form of the same thing, same ingredients. Uh, I'm going to give this one a try and see how it works. But also this one is only 50 grams at a, at per dose. And come to find out, I looked at the name on here after I got home and I thought, that ingredient sounds very familiar. And I looked at a gel that William uses on his legs and um, feet area. It's the same stuff that he uses. His is um, 100 grams though, which is a, a little stronger, so I may be using some of his stuff, you know, hey. But anyway, we'll see how this one goes. I'm hoping it does work. I still have a slight pain in my, um, in my heel. It started when we were in Tampa, and that's when I blew through a pair of Nikes that were a couple years old, you know, the heel on those blew out. And I didn't realize it until after wearing them all day long type of thing. So my heel did hurt then, and it still hurts a little bit. Not quite as much, but I'm hoping this cream kind of helps it. We'll see. So I'm trying that. Outside of that, when we got home, I went to my sewing room and I kind of started in on things. For one thing, I have to yet iron up the fabric that I'm going to be using on class tomorrow. Yes, I have a sewing class tomorrow. I'm look, I've looked forward to this class for quite a few weeks. So it starts tomorrow and then there's another session a week from tomorrow. And that's the end of it. But I have to prepare my fabric for the class and get everything together that I'm going to need supply-wise so I can just get up tomorrow, get ready, and hit the road. Yeah. And let's see here. What else did I do? Oh, I sewed a little bit on those PJs. Didn't finish them yet, but I did get a good start on the top. And I'm pleased with what I did do so far because I tried it on and it fits. And I'm very happy about that. So that, that's one thing that is so discouraging when you work on a piece of clothing and then you go to try it on and it doesn't fit at all. It's like, you know, and there's no way that you can tailor it to change it to make it smaller. Well, you could do it to smaller. But there's no way you can change it to make it lar yeah, larger. <laughs> so anyway. It does fit and I'm happy and I'm going to continue working on that, but maybe not this afternoon. Uh, let me show you right here the little video that I took the other day when I went back to my sewing room to begin working on the pajama set. Remember this pattern? My next project. It says it's Slumber Party PJs. I just say it's PJs that I'm working on. And it's been a couple of weeks since I've actually been here in my sewing room to do some sewing, okay? Um, I've had other things going on, but today I am going to get a good start, if not finish, my little PJ set. First step, well, okay, the first step was I looked over the pattern, the layout of the material and everything for cutting, and I have the pattern all cut out, ready to go. So now I'm reading the sewing instructions. Which are here. I've never worked with this pattern before, or the company before I should say. The company that puts this pattern out is called Indigo Junction by Amy Berrickman, I believe. And indigo is spelled I-N-D-Y-G-O. And then the next word, junction. And this is pattern IJ1166. And I don't, I, I know I got it at um, the sewing studio where I normally, you know, go do my sewing uh, buying, where I normally buy my material and fabric goods. I don't think they had a line of these, but they had a few indigo junction patterns. And this happened to be one of them on display that caught my eye. 
so I'm giving it a try. And who makes these anyway? Mm, it doesn't say on that page. Um, out of Kansas City, Missouri, is it? Yes, out of Kansas City, Missouri. Okay, they have their website, www.indigojunction, all one word, dot com. And remember, indigo is spelled with a Y, not an I, I-N-D-Y, um, G-O. Or Amy Brick Berrickman, rather, is the designer, I guess you'd say. And she has a website, too www.amybarrickman.com and Barrickman is B as in boy A-R-I-C-K-M-A-N so hmm, I might have to check out and see if she's got other patterns if this one works out for me <laughs> okay so let's get started to assemble it and the first step is working on the top Okay. Okay, the directions look easy enough to follow. I'm going to get started and I'll bring it back when I'm all done. I'm, I'm not going to model the, the PJs for everybody here, um, but I'll show you what I get finished, okay? So I'll bring it back when I'm all done. Outside of that, we're just staying inside because lately it's been very hot and humid. Yeah, and my garden is still growing. We've had some rain, not like in the last day or so, but previous days. Other than that, I water my garden in the evening and so far it's holding up. It, it's doing okay. I don't have any veggies growing yet, well, except some baby tomatoes that I showed you a, a few weeks ago. Yeah, they're still baby tomatoes. <laughs> They're very slowly growing, let me tell you. And my strawberry plant, which I thought was done, has started sprouting flowers. I, I don't know what it's doing, but I water it. We'll see what happens. Um, out of, outside of that, it's been very quiet. Very, very quiet here. That's not bad. Somebody else did mention that to me. I said, hey, a quiet times are not bad at all. No, they're not, because when it gets hectic and busy around here, yeah, it really, really gets hectic and busy. So, but I especially want to get working on the sewing room more. I have plans for what I will work on next after I finish the P PJ set that I'm working on. And with the weather getting hot like it is, I need to work on what I have planned to do after the PJs. <laughs> it's short sets, a top and a pair of shorts. And I've got a few sets in mind to make. So I want to get those finished. And that should keep me busy back in the sewing room for a while. Keep me busy and out of trouble. William should like that. Anyway, that's about it from here for this Tea Tuesday, really. it's It's been pretty pretty slow paced around here very quiet that's good I know it's good I'm not complaining it's just it's been very relaxing so I hope you're all having a good one out there you all take care I'll be talking to you again real soon but it's gonna be bye for this tea Tuesday you know I'm getting used to drinking this ice water and I actually crave it <laughs> I can't explain it, but I actually do crave it. It's very refreshing.